More dirt. Hello and welcome to Unseen Universe. Okay, so uh, how's everybody doing? You okay? I hope everybody's well. I'm Mitch and I'm okay, so let's get started. So if you watched my last video, you'll know that the current theme is dirt and things that live inside dirt. So uh, in the last video, I added three species of isopods to three different pots with lots of lovely dirt inside. And um, I will do more video on those and how they're progressing in the near future. But for now, we have lots more dirt, um, but there's slightly different mix of dirt in this. Um, I'm making the depth a little bit deeper. I'm gonna show you in a minute. Um, and in, that, uh, in this dirt, I've got lots of rotting wood, like walnut and beech, um, lots of rotting leaves, oak, maple. Um, and then I've got a lovely earth mix, which is absolutely jam-packed full of um, nutrients and minerals. Um, it's also got volcanic earth, lava inside, uh, various mosses, and it's all mixed up in a lovely, 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 lovely mix of just power packed, rich, full of nutrients. Just what any living creature needs to survive and thrive in this environment. And that's the key word, thrive. We really want them to feel at home and um, really do well, you know? We want them to uh, be really happy because um, I'm hoping that they'll just uh, breed. And what am I talking about? Millipedes. I've got three absolutely amazing species of millipedes to show you. So uh, yeah, I've got the pots ready. Um, I'm going to get the millipedes and uh, I'll be back in a sec. Right then, here we are. So we've got the first container all ready. I've just given it a bit of a spray to uh, freshen everything up. And uh, let's get this first species of millipedes. Oh my God, I'm telling you, man. These are absolutely amazing. Just look at these. Wow, I think these are already adults. I'm not entirely sure. I've never had this species before, but they look about the right size for adults. So these are Coromus vitatus vitatus. Um, they are a flattened millipede. You can see them there. They're all nicely loving the, uh, the oak and maple and all the different rotting leaves that are in there. Um, I'm gonna put these straight in. So let's do that, shall we? Here we go. Whoa. So I'm just going to put them in there like that. There are, there should be about 20 in there. We'll give them a bit of a, bit of a move around. Oh, I think there might be a dead one there. That's bad news. Oh no, that's a malt. Oh, that's good. Okay. Ah, oh, might be a few malts in here then. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to Oh, there's lots of lovely rotting litter in there. So there's a few malts here. I'm just going to try and pick out the malts. Um, although, you know, I mean, they'll just... Uh, it'll just degrade into the mulch. I think that's a dead one. Maybe. I'm going to put that one to the side just in case it's just needs to just... Oh, I think it's moving a little bit. We'll see. I'm going to leave that to one side. That one's all right. That's another malt. See, there's some smaller ones here that are molting. See, these are looking... The majority look... I think they're all fine. They're just a bit curled up. Wow, just look at those. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to just let... I'm just going to... Just, I'm just double checking to make sure there's no dead ones. They all look fine to me. There's just this one over here that I've put. I think that guy might be dead. So that's, I mean, you can see, I don't know if you can see properly, but the coloration of these look, the stripe is really bright. It's like a really nice, lovely chocolate caramel type color. Um, this one's quite dull in comparison. So I'm gonna separate them out just to check to make sure there's no dead ones in this little cluster. Um, and then I'm going to get them, just get the macro lens out quickly. I'm just going to do, show you a few close-ups, but I'm not going to mess with them too much. I want them to settle down. 
do what they need to do. Yeah, that one's not moving. I'm going to leave him just in case he peps up later, but I don't think it's happening with that one. The rest look fine, so I'm, I'm happy about that. I'm really pleased, actually. They look great. God, they're amazing, aren't they? Right, so these are from, uh, they're actually found all over Africa, but they're mainly found in Cameroon, Nigeria, and Libya. Um, and yeah, they grow up to between 10 and 12 centimeters. So I reckon these are, these are adults. So we'll see. I'm just going to leave them to, they're all, they've all just, they've all completely dispersed. They're all having a good look around. There's plenty of water droplets for them to have a drink from. Some of them are having a drink off the sides now. Um, but uh, yeah, for the most part, they all look fine. A bit worried about that guy. He's not moved much, but no, he's moving a little bit. So I think it's just that one. That's perished, that's really unfortunate, but the rest look fantastic. So let's have a quick look at them, shall we? So, they, uh, I'm definitely convinced this one's dead. I've left them now for a little while to have a little mooch around. Took a little bit of macro footage. Um, the rest look happy as Larry, apart from this one, whose legs are moving, but it doesn't seem to be moving anywhere in terms of actual physical space. <laughs> so, its legs are moving around, but I don't know. I don't think it's very happy. It's looking a bit curled up at the end, so that one might not be. I'm going to keep an eye on that one. Um, right then, so uh, they the rest look very happy though, they're all moving around, they've all been drinking lots of water droplets um, and they've been exploring so uh, hopefully they're happy. I'm basically just going to finish off the uh, the enclosure with a bunch of uh, sphagnum moss. Um, I'm just going to sprinkle it over the top over in parts of the uh, surface just to uh, well, mainly just to uh, increase humidity, keep humidity levels up because um, it's really important that uh, humidity is maintained upwards and over 70%. So I mean, I'm going to come back and do uh, care videos on these. I, well, for now, I'm just going to, uh, this video is mainly just about the rehousing. And a quick intro to the uh, to the millipedes. So I'm just going to sparsely cover this with this moss. That'll retain the uh, humidity. And also, you know, I mean, if the millipedes fancy having a little bit of a munch on some of the uh, decomposing moss over time, then it's there for them as well. So, you know, but this would be good for. Uh, there's a little egg there. Oh, that is interesting. Might put that in a little pot. See what comes out. Whoa. -ho -ho. That was in the moss. 
There's probably some more in there now as well, so I'll have to keep an eye on that. God knows what's going to come out of there. So yeah, I'm going to do this with all of them anyway. So there's lots of leaf litter over the top. I've actually got some more leaf litter coming because I thought I'd got more, but I haven't. So uh, I'm going to be adding leaf litter to this as well. So that'll do for now. Save the rest for the others. Right, that's them sorted. I'm really chuffed with them. <clears throat> Only two, one's definitely dead and there's one here that I think is dying, um, unfortunately. I'm hoping that the moisture, it might have a drink, it might have a little chomp on something, I don't know. I'm hoping it's gonna kind of, it's gonna get recharged and uh, make an make a awesome comeback, but we'll see. Right then, let's move on to the next one, shall we? Woohoo! Okay, so after all that excitement, can you contain yourselves? Because we've got more excitement coming in the uh, in the form of the second species of millipede. So here we go. I'm going to just tip them in and see if you guys can guess before I tell you what they are. There we go. Look at those beauties. Wow, again, another fantastic size. These look amazing. So, let's get them in there, shall we? Again, there should be about 20 in here. I think they're mixed sizes, these. I can see some are smaller already. Smaller than, the, uh, than some of the others. So, again, all that moss, so that's fantastic that is. Yeah, there's definitely some smaller ones in here. Small, medium and large, so that's good. That's excellent. Wow, they're really, some of them are really tightly wound. Really tiny one there, look. So again, I'm gonna let them sort themselves out. And um, so if you haven't guessed already, these are Spirostreptus cervatius or the firehead millipede. These can grow up to 20 centimetres, but I think they have been seen to grow up to 26 centimetres. We'll have none of that. Yeah, they all look fine. Some are still quite curled up. Obviously, you know, they sense the danger protecting themselves. But a couple of these big ones, look, they've already spaced themselves right out, having a good old trek around. So I'll space all that uh, moss out. Now that saved me sprinkling more moss on there, but I'll probably put a little bit more on there. So, yeah, so these again are from Africa, Western or Central Africa, specifically Cameroon and Nigeria, I think they're generally found, but I think they're found in other parts as well. Um, yeah, the firehead millipede. And you can see, well, I'll, get, I'll show you guys, a, give you guys a closer look in a little while, but you can see already they've got, uh, they've got this lovely dark chocolate brown body and then the head you can just see I don't know whether you can see it there but I will get a closer look in a minute they've got like a more orangey light brown I wouldn't say um, fire head as in uh, as in bright red fire but uh, they've definitely got different colored heads so maybe that'll change over time I don't know whether we've got any adults here I'm guessing there might be one or two that could be adults so anyway let's have a look at them shall we So, um, yeah, basically these, uh, unlike the, uh, the Curumus vitatus, vitatus they, uh, these guys really want to just hide away. So uh, uh, it's only been a couple of minutes and they've already um, almost completely disappeared, which is cool. That's what they want to do. That, I'm all good with that. But it did mean getting some, uh, some decent macro footage was quite tricky. 
um, but I hope I got enough to just give you a little taste of them. Uh, I've got a feeling that during the day, because the light's on them, they just want to hide away and get away, so uh, that's all cool. I don't want to distress them any more than I need to. Um, but we could nip out here at night and see if they're all up and about looking around, uh, mooching about at night. So uh, that might be the way forward to get some more footage. But unfortunately, I've got a feeling once I get the light on them, they're just going to want to like burrow away and hide. So that's fine. Um, we'll leave them to that. Um, but they are another beautiful species. Got a real mixed bag of sizes there. So I'm hoping, you never know. I have read that these are particularly difficult to uh, breed in captivity. Not many people seem to have had any success, if any. So I don't know. Um, I'm just anyway. I'm just going to leave them to it. And uh, hey, I'll be nice to just look at them from time to time. And if I get some babies, that would be awesome, of course. So shall we move on to the next species? Let's do it. Okay. So this is the third and final one for the third and final species. So uh, I've got these out and uh, yeah, so there's quite a bit of crap uh, in, in the tubs that they've brought them. So I'm gonna take these out and put them in one by one individually. So again, I'm gonna put them out and see if you can guess what they are. And then once they're all in, I will... Uh, I'll tell you what they are. But look how amazing these look. These are absolutely beautiful. Look at these. Oh my God. Just look at the coloration on these. The, the, oh, they're like a really dark brown, almost black, but then there's, there's just the red. Oh my God, look at the red on the segments. These are absolutely stunning. That's that one. So how many we got there? One, two, three, four, five, six, eight there. And then we've got a few more here. Wow, this just, oh my, I'm telling you, man, these are absolutely beautiful. I, I don't think the camera at the moment is doing them justice, but trust me, they are absolutely stunning. I'm not moving around very much at the moment, but trust me, they are very much alive. Um, they probably just, not too keen on the light and being handled and such like, but uh, needs must. Look at that. These are absolutely stunning though, aren't they? Sorry, I think my shadow is just getting in the way of the camera a little bit, but I just wanted to get them out one by one. Uh, look at those, man. You can already see, I think they must be adults. Right then, so if you haven't already guessed, these are... Uh, Pelmatogerus excisus or the giant fire millipede and well just look at the coloration goes without saying where the common name comes from the giant fire millipede these are absolutely stunning oh my god the antennae are absolutely gorgeous they're like <laughs> I'm gonna get some close-up macro shots anyway because unlike the previous ones it looks like these are gonna hang out on the surface for a while that's why I've just stacked up um, some uh, some thick branches here um, they're slightly rotting so that's good for them but also apparently they like to climb and I did it for the others as well I didn't mention it it's just so when they come out at night they quite like to climb over things as well they don't just like kind of crawl around on the surface they will climb up things um, so uh, so yeah but honestly these are absolutely stunning these grow up to 17 centimeters these are obviously adults because they're already around that size for the most part. They're really thick, which is absolutely fantastic because when they move, you can see when they turn, um, it really, really shows off that bright red coloration. It's absolutely stunning. These are beautiful. Again, these are from West Africa, Cameroon, Equatorial Guinea. Um, and uh, yeah, pretty much the same conditions. Um, I'm going to do the same and I'm going to add some sphagnum moss over the top just to retain and, and keep that humidity levels up. But honestly, these are absolutely beautiful. I'm really, really happy about these. So, let's get some closer footage of them, shall we? Excellent.
Right, so as you can probably see, they've all but disappeared. There's a couple over here that you can't quite see, just out of shot, but for the most part, they've burrowed down and um, yeah, they've disappeared. So uh, that's all good. That means they're quite happy. Um, and we'll see how they get on, shall we? Um, I'll uh, I'll do another review um, a little bit later on on uh, all three species and give a little bit more information. Um, and um, yeah, we'll see how they get on. Um, I'm just going to cover this with moss now, just again to retain the moisture and uh, keep the humidity up. But uh, yeah, I'm absolutely loving all three of these species. They're absolutely gorgeous. Um, I still can't get over the red on these fire millipedes. Absolutely stunning. So. Uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll definitely come back to those. So, lovely. Thanks very much for watching. Speak soon. Oh my God, how amazing were they? They were absolutely gorgeous. So, oh, those three species of millipedes, fantastic. Um, I've not had millipedes for a little while, um, so I'm really, really excited to keep these and see how they get on. Um, I hope you liked the macro footage, um, I will be bringing a little bit more of that but as I said um, it looks like the flat species has um, has remained on the surface so that's good, I could get some really really good macro footage of those later on um, but the other two species, the uh, firehead and the fire millipede, they both basically have just been burrowing so uh, I've got a feeling they'll be coming out at night though, so I might pop back into the shed one night just to see if I can get some quick, ma more ma some more macro footage of those. But um, uh, we'll have to wait and see. Um, so uh, yeah, I hope that was all right for you. I am going to review all three species once they've established themselves and they've um, and they're happy, and uh, I'll bring a little bit more information about um, about care, uh, you know, uh, where they're from, habitats, and uh, and that sort of stuff. So uh, yeah. So for now, um, I'll see you later. Bye, take care.